Hello, everybody. This is Rabbi Gershom Francis, and you're listening to Teiras HaArizal. Here we'll talk about the Kavanes of the Arizal for Chil, Shabbos, and Yomim Tevim. This shir is dedicated in the memory of my father, Rabbi Shol Menachem Mendel ben Avraham Olav HaSholem. You can now dedicate a shir in the honor of a loved one by supporting the shir on Spotify. We hope you enjoy. L'shem Yichud, Kudshabrichu, Ushchinte. Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Let's discuss the bracha for Sfiras Emer. The kavanis of the Emer from the Ariya Kadesh are beautiful. The Emer is a time of tikkun and should be accompanied with a sense of teshuva, just in case we need to be metaking any pagam, which is shayich, to that night. Now, there's no need to think about different spheroids and different emotions, but just to have in mind that if there's any pagam that occurred, and is shayach to that night, it should be rectified through the counting of the Omer. Now the purpose of the bracha is to, in a sense, stop spiritual bloodshed. In other words, to prevent the withdrawal of chasadim and gvurais by the sitra achra and redirect this energy to the zer anpin and malchus. So the most simple kavana is to have in mind this retrieval of chasadim and gvurais and redirecting them to naturally drain within Zer Anpin and from there to Malchus every night. The beauty behind this kavana is that it begins at the bracha and trickles down letter by letter through all the days of the Omer, as you will see. Now let's explain this. In the Olam Asfiros, there's Shem Havaya de Ma, Shem Havaya, which equals the Gematria of 45. And if the Sitra Achra or Keli can get a hold of this Darga of Zer Anpin, it's called Shefech Dam HaAdam Ba'adam. There's bloodshed. There's bloodshed from Zer Anpin, meaning there's a leakage of the Chasadim and Gvurais. Adam is Zer Anpin and is always represented by Shem Ma, which is the Gematria of Adam. The Sfiras HaOmer has the ability to prevent the Shvichas HaDamim, meaning the Shvicha of the Chsadim and Gvurais to the Sitra Achra, and redirect them and integrate them within Zer Anpin. Why do we need to do this? Because in Galus, as in Mitzrayim, there's possibility for bloodshed to occur. There's a possibility for Zer Anpin to lose its Chayas, to lose its Chayas, which is its Chsadim and Gvurais. They can be withdrawn by Kechesh Chitzonim. So in order to fix this, we have in mind to drain these Chasadim and Gvurais within Zer Anpin by making the Bracha of Sriasa Eimer. And night by night, we have this Kavana that Shem Havaya Dema should trickle down every night, letter by letter, all throughout the Eimer. And this R, Chayas, this energy, should also trickle down to Malchus, which is Shem Havaya de Ben, which is the name of Hashem, which equals up to 52. And that also trickles night by night, letter by letter. So therefore, when we make the bracha, it's just the beginning. Because every night we have in mind that this Koyach of being metake in Zer Anpin goes letter by letter of Shem Havaya de Ma, and letter by letter of Shem Havaya de Ben. So you make the bracha. Concentrate on Shem Havaya de Ma. Shem Havaya that equals 45. Yud, K, Vav, K. Have in mind that this Shem Havaya de Ma is not just one Shem Havaya de Ma, but that it's really all of Zer Anpin, all of Zer Anpin's ten spheres. So therefore it's ten times Shem Ma, the whole parts of, of Zer Anpin. Ten times Shem Ma. And while you have this in mind, you know that Shem Havaya de Ma, Yud Ke Vav Ke, that Vav is spelt Vav Aleph Vav. This Aleph within the Vav is very important because the Aleph represents the Ur of Bina, the Ur of Ima, which gives Kayach to Zer Anpin. The Aleph is very important. Since the Aleph is Or de Ima, and the Sphira of Ima is Ekiah, Aleph K Yud K. And this Ekiah 
which is in middle of Shema, represented by the Aleph within these two Vavs, is spelled Biribua, meaning Aleph, Aleph K, Aleph K Yud, Aleph K Yud K. That is Ekiya Biribua, and Ekiya Biribua is the gematria of Dam. Again, Ekiya Biribua is gematria Dam. That's Aleph Aleph K, Aleph K Yud, Aleph K Yud K. And this is all within the Vav, the Aleph, which is between the two Vavs of Shem Havaya Dema. And since we're talking about ten Shemais of Ma, we're looking at the Aleph within these ten Shemais, and the Aleph within these ten Shemais are all Shemais of Ekia Beribua. Aleph, Aleph K, Aleph K Yud, Aleph K Yud K. So we have ten times Ma, and we have ten times Ekia Beribua. This Ekia Beribua, as we mentioned, is Gematria Dam. That's the blood. That's the blood. And when we see this Ekia Beribua, we should know that we have to prevent the Shvichas Damim. We have to prevent a Yenika of these Chsadim and Gvurais to the Sitra Achra. We have to prevent this bloodshed, this spillage of Dam. And we have to draw it back within the Guf of Zer Anpin. That the Dam, the Chsadim and Gvurais, should be Nislavish within Zer Anpin, and then from there to be Nislavish within Malchus. So, so far, we have 10 Shemais of Ma. Keneged, the whole parts of, of Zer Anpin, and within each of these ten Shemes of Ma is a Aleph, and that Aleph represents Ekia Biribua, and this Ekia Biribua equals Dam. So within each Shem Ma, you have the Gematria of Dam. You have its Ekia Biribua, which is the Gematria of Dam. So ten Shemes of Ma and ten shemas of Ekiya Biribua. And if you should ask, what's the significance of this Ekiya that equals the Gematria of Dam? And the answer is, if Ima, if Bina, is not mayor to Zer Anpin, what happens is, the Aleph is nostalgic. And if the Aleph is nostalgic, if the Aleph from Shem Ma is nostalgic, what happens? You go from Adam to Dam. And that's why we take a look at these ten shemas of Ekiya Biribua, which is the gematria of Dam. And the Sefer Emer helps us retrieve this Ordi'ima, this light of Chesodim and Gurus, and redirect it to drain within the Guf of Zer Anpin. So simply speaking, the Kavana here is to draw the life back into Zer Anpin. And in order to do this, we have to mitaken we have to fix the Indian of Dam within all of the ten spheres of Zer Anpin. So now the tikkun that we do is we make the bracha al spheras ha'omer. And when we make this bracha al spheras ha'omer, we have in mind to be metaking this ekiya biribua, which equals the gematria of 44, which is Dam. And we have in mind to bring it forward, bring it forward and drain it within Zer Anpin. So this ekiya biribua becomes ekiya pashut, ekiya pashut, which is when Ekiya is up front and not Ba'achor, Ekiya Pashut. And Ekiya Pashut, Aleph K Yud K, is the Gematria of 21. That's a simon that we're restoring this dam. We're draining the dam and restoring the Koach of Zer Anpin, which is the Hatzlacha of Bnei Yisrael, which is the Mukar of Chayas for Bnei Yisrael. And so now, it comes out that we have 10 times Shem Ekiya Pashut, Ten times the simple name of Ekiya for all the ten spheres of Zer Anpin. Now, this Ekiya that becomes Pashut and is the Gematria of 21 is also not just a very simple Ekiya, but it's an Ekiya Male, Aleph K Yud K. And Aleph K Yud K is ten letters when you write it out. And so, therefore, if we add the ten letters of Ekiya, the ten letters of this Ekiya Pashut, it goes from 21 to being 31. And since it's 31, this is a simon that there's Tikkun, because 31, 31 is the shame Kel. As we say, Chesed Kel Kohayim. So what happened was, we had Ekiya Biribua, 
which is a simon that we need to be worried about a chesarin of or de ima and a leakage to chitzonim, and we brought it to be ekia pashut, and not only ekia pashut, but a full ekia. So that's 21, but not just 21, but plus 10, and that makes it to 31, and that turns the shemus of ekia to kale, and therefore you rectify the spillage of dam, and you make it into a tikkun, a tikkun that allows the chsadim to be drained and to flow within their anpin, and from their anpin to in turn be drawn down to the sphere of Malchus and in turn to Bnei Yisrael. And in truth, this reveals why this tikkun is possible now because 10 times Shem Kale equals the gematria of Oimer. Here you have the ability to be attacking these Shemes of Ekia, to make them Ekia Pashut, to make it not only Pashut but Malay Vagadush full, so it becomes 10 Shemes of Kale. 10 Shemes of Kale equals the Gematria of what? Aimer. So here you're attacking Zir Anbin. And then in order to draw this Amshacha to Malchus, we have in mind, right then and there, in the Bracha, Al Sfirasa Aimer that those last letters, Sfiras HaOmer, equals the gematria of 65. 65 is the gematria of what? Shem Adnai, Aleph, Dalet, Nun, and Yud, which is the shame of Malchus. You have in mind that this koyach, this dam, this chayas and dam of Zer Anpin is drawn all the way down to 65, which is the shame Adnai, Sfiras HaOmer, that this Amshecha goes from Zer Anpin to Malchus. So here you have it. Baruch Atah Hashem, ten shemes of Ma. Within these ten shemes of Ma is ten Ekiya Biribua. These ten Ekiya Biribua are transformed to be Ekiya Pashut, which is the gematria of 21. And not only 21, but a full Shem Ekiya, which is Aleph K Yid K, which is 31. 31 is the Indian of Tikkun. And now that we have the Tikkun, we have the Baruch Atah Hashem, we have the Tikkun right here, right now, where Mam Shech this to Sfir Emer, to Malchus, to Nukva, to Rachel. And this tikkun is achieved every night, little by little, one letter by one letter. Because have in mind, even though we mentioned that there's 10 shemos of Ma and there's 10 shemos of Ekia, we have in mind that these shemos trickle down letter by letter. It doesn't happen at once. What I explained to you up until now is the kavana. But the kavana is carried out one letter at a time, night by night, by night, by night. So if we're looking at the Shemus of Ekia, for example, Ekia is a four-letter word. So 10 times 4 is 40. That's the 40 days of the Omer. And then for the next nine days, says the Ari Kodesh, you need to be mechaving full Shemus of Ekia for the last nine days. And that makes it 49. And the same thing when it comes down to Shem Ma. Shem Ma is Yud Ke Vav Ke. It's a four-letter word. And if we have 10 times 4 again, is 40. So that equals the 40 days of the Omer. But we're missing 9. So again, the Ari HaKadosh says, the last 9 days, you need to be mechaving full Shem of Ma. And then again, you draw this Hamshacha down to Malchus. You draw this Amshacha down to Malchus. And Malchus is what shame? Is Shemavaya de Ben. Shemavaya de Ben is Yudke Vavke, which equals the Gematria of 52. And this is usually the shame of Malchus. Before we spoke about Shem Adnai, but when it comes to Shem Hashem, Shem Ben is the shame of Malchus. And that shame equals up to 52. So what happens is this shame as well is also a four-letter word, yud ke vav ke. So all throughout all 40 days of the Omer, we have in mind one, sh- one letter by one letter by one letter for all these 10 shemas. And of course, 10 times 4 is 40. That's the 40 days of the Omer. And for the last nine days, says the Ari HaKadosh, you have to be mechaving full shemas of Havaya de Ben. So all throughout the Sfirah Emer, we have in mind one letter of Shem Ekiah, 
one letter of Shem Havaya de Ma, and one letter of Shem Havaya de Ben. Now, in addition to that, we need to raise this Kavana Lamaila. We need to sanctify and raise this Kavana Lamaila little by little for each Tikkun that we do every single night. And that's why we say Ana Bechoach, and that every step of Ana Bechoach is connected one Kavana every single night. And of course, and of course, the way this works is similar to the way the Ekiya and the Shem Dema and the Shem de Ben works. It's the same format. Every day, you have in mind one letter from the Shem Membet, the Shem of Ana Bechoyach. So let's say, for example, the first week, the first week is the Shem of Ana Bechoyach Gedulat Yemin Chatatir Tzurura. Every day of that first week, is connected one letter of that name. It's connected one letter of that name for six days. That's for six days. The seventh day comes, you have in mind the whole shame. You have in mind the whole shame. Again, the second day, you have Kabel Rina Samcha, Sagvenu Taharenu Neira. So the same thing occurs. For the six days, you have in mind one letter for every day of that Sphira week. One letter for that sphere a week. And at the end of the week, the whole shame. And that's similar, just as we said, by the shame Ekia and the shame Ma and the shame Ben, that for all 40 days of the Eimer, it's supposed to be letter by letter, letter by letter, letter by letter. And then the last nine days, it's the whole shame. So the similar format is for Anna B'choyach. And Taka, at the end of 49 days, you have been mechaven all the shemos of shem membet, of shem membet, because there's six every week, and the seventh is the shem itself. So if you do that every week, you equal a total of 49 days. 49 days of the Omer. So you see, for the kavanas of the Omer, there's the general kavana of what's going on, these ten shemos of Ma, and within the Ma, the Shem Ekiah, the Tikkun of Shem Ekiah, to be Ekiah Pashut, and drawing the Dam, drawing the Chsadam and Gurus to Shem Ma, to Shem Ben, and uplifting this to the Kavana of Ana B'chayach, night by night, until the last night, the 49th night. Now, on the level of Avoida and Chasidis, Maimarim explained that this idea of retrieving and bringing back the Shem Ekiah to be drawn in Zer Anpin and drawn down to Malchus is the union of Hashkacha Pratis. Shem Ekiya is the idea that HaKadosh Baruch Hu will be wherever he will be. That will always be an union that has to do with Hashkacha Pratis. And what happens is, when we have this in mind, we give ourselves chayas, we give ourselves energy back, and it changes everything from being an accident to being meaningful as it really is. And this understanding gives us chayas and energy all the days of our life.